All right. Um, now, this time around, we only had three requests for readings. And since uh, half of those people uh, have already gotten readings for the year, I I'm not including them. Uh, but the other two uh, haven't had a, a full reading. So uh, let's see which of these two will come up um, as uh, the winner of the, the full reading. Your odds are very good. So here we go. Let me give it a click. And we'll see if Sherry or Mittens wins the free full reading. You know what? Since there's only two of you, I'm going to give both of you a full reading to end this new year or to end this year. And uh, as soon as the new year starts, everyone's name's going back in the hat and everyone will again have a shot at uh, getting a, a free full reading. All right. So, uh, Everyone, uh, Happy New Year, and uh, let's get on with those readings. All right, so as I said, um, the last, since there were so few readings to do this time, uh, Mittens and Sherry both will win the full reading. It's uh, it's the holiday, the spirit of giving. Plus, the next time I go live, we'll be right back to um, starting a new counting everybody, including the ones that's gotten readings this year. Okay, setting out the. The crystals. lit all right and I'm using a red candle because it just seemed right it's Christmas Okay, I think I'm all set up here, so uh, let me uh, ring the singing bowl. Oops. good okay good harmonies in the air now Sherry Knotts wanted the rune oracle which is cool because this is the first person that ever wanted one of these. I always like using some uh, some of these other cards that don't get used most of the time. This is pretty cool. And this will be Sherry's spread. Yara. 
it's a thing of grapes with uh, peaches and uh, so there's some nuts in there and grain. The next one is Awaz. And that's complex. It's got like a woman with a man's eye for a third eye. And over here is up in the corner. Over here is a, 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 a pegasus flying. And uh, the final one is a... Uh, Burkana. And it's got a woman with a baby running to her. And that has great significance. I know because that card is the card of, um, it's the female card. The card of the great mother. And it means more, but uh, let me get here the reading, the meaning, because it's a little bit more intense than what I normally give when I do my readings. Here we go, Yera. The first one. The meaning is year, the key word, triumph. Yera is, tri is tied to the seasons, and with harvest time in particular. The card depicts an abundance of ripe fruit and ears of wheat, symbolizing times of good fortune when we finally reap that which we have sown. Our efforts are given and we ourselves approach, approach life with serenity and joy that nourish our environment. In the same abundance, everything flows with ease and we must now slacken our rhythm to enjoy the fruits of our labor. It would be a shame not to fully savor these moments. Suggestions for meditation. Do our thoughts wander constantly are we able to do to be in the present and focus on what we have? What sensation does the future give us? Anxiety or optimism? Do we feel capable of realizing our dreams? The power of the of the rune, Yera, makes us calmer and present in ourselves. It dispels anxiety and has a relaxing power. Next we'll do Awaz. Okay, the meaning of Awaz is horse. Keyword is action. The card is associated with action and movement. In the image, a winged horse can cuts through the sky, while in the foreground, a young woman with a sort of third eye stares intently at something and thinks prior to acting. To be successful, you have to be very determined. Our potential is great provided that we know how to value to make excuse me how to value it by following the flow of events with courage without remaining stationary or intimidated in the face of new challenges that life offers us our key task is to find our place in the world do we daydream or do our dreams embody solid plan planning do we have a tendency to flee our problems, taking refuge in a fantasy world? Awaz enables us to be more pragmatic and organized. This boosts self-esteem and the ability to give body to our own dreams. And then finally, Berkana. It means swan. The key word is creativity. The rune is linked to fertility, beauty, and the ability to take care of others. All classic feminine attributes. That's the one I said was the fem female card. A woman runs to meet a child, and in the background a swan, symbol of purity, gently swims in the lake. The time has come to celebrate creativity, tenderness, and strength that come from being receptive. There is a great beauty in, what, in being at the service of others. Inspiration comes only to those who know how to listen and embrace and the stimuli surrounding them without necessarily acting right away. Are we able to take care of others without asking anything in return? Do we believe tenderness is for the weak or do we consider it an important virtue? 
Burkana protects those who are on the verge of giving birth to a child, either in the flesh or symbolically. And there you go, Sherry. I hope uh, hope any some of this might have uh, rang true for you. Okay, that's all we have for that one. First of all, I'll do the one that requested it, and that person is Mittens. So let's do Mittens here. Okay, this one's standing up. Pendulum. Hmm. I'm not feeling it a nose. So it looks like we just have three to read. All right. Um, first of all, you have the rune, meaning partners. It can also mean uh, love, gifts, fortune, and uh, really a close relationship. The relationship could be with a lover, with a friend, with a family member. Uh, it could be a, a work-related, um, you know, partner. It could be, you know, business partner, anything, um, anything between you and another person. It's going to be a very good time for that. Um, now, I see um, sudden change coming. But it's also, it's got to do with your timing. Something about the timing of events. Um, to make it hit just right. It could be coming up a long journey in your future. I'm not really sure. Probably not. But uh, that is a possibility in there. Un unprepared, unexpected travel. And finally... Um, Boy, it looks like you're in for some disappointments. Um, you'll be feeling a loss of some sort. Possible money problems. And as a result, probably arguments too. Okay. Sorry that last one turned out bad there for you, Mittens. But uh, beginning was going good. And uh, good luck on that, Mittens. Okay, what I see from this, to begin with, is that there's a lot of swords, so that involves a lot of um, fighting or trying to win something over. Now, uh, next along the lines, there's uh, three cards with the pentagram on it, and that, that symbolizes money. So, I would say maybe you're fighting over money in some way. Um, fighting to keep 
the bills paid, fi fighting to, I'm not sure what, something with, involving money probably, most likely involving money. Now this indicates news of a victory. And this is the emperor, which is you, and you are in charge. You probably couldn't have lost that uh, confrontation, whatever it was. You would have won it anyway, because right now you're in control. Now you went through a period where um, it seemed like you, what you were really wanting to do at your heart just wasn't working out. Something you were trying to make, you know, something along those lines. Um, it just didn't work out in your favor. It just didn't go anywhere. And uh, you were weighing your odds as to what to do next. And uh, you were like that for a little while, undecisive. But it looks like you've made your choice and you're going to progress with it. Now, it looks like money is a hassle for you right now. You don't have a lot of money lying around, that's for sure. Um, but not many people do. <laughs> And, uh, boy, it doesn't look like things are happy, um, maybe at home. Things just aren't right, right now. One involves money, very likely, and the other one, um, I think it just kind of upsets you. Doesn't say much else other than that. It just kind of uh, bothers you. Now, it looks like your money situation is going to continue into the future because I see somebody, they're either asking for money, um, wanting to borrow money off you, uh, giving you bad news about money, um, giving you bad advice about money, Something along those lines. And once again, right here. This is news about money. And it's in a negative position. So, twice here you're going to have uh, a negative response to, uh, to gaining money that it looks like you really need. I see a loss of a, well, a, a con confrontation that you lost. That's what the sword is for. News of a loss, an actual loss, um, something along those lines. Um, like losing an argument, losing a deal to someone, uh, anything that can be lost in those in that, in that uh, area. And finally, it looks like something good's going to come of all this. Now some, for some reason, you've been uh, feeling alone, like no one gets you, no one understands where you're coming from. Um, and you're kind of afraid to move on, or you have been, you're going to get over that coming up here in the future. You're going to get over this feeling alone sensation. Um, you're going to feel like you're part of the crowd again, part of the group, you know, and uh, that, that's, that's wonderful news. You can finally put, put that off your list, have worries, you know. One less thing to worry about. So uh, I hope that made some sense for you. Mittens. All right. Uh, 
Okay, next we're going to do some oracle cards. And uh, these have already been shuffling, but I'll do another shuffle here. Okay, the first one will be for Mittens. And Mittens has number 59. Number 59. Okay, that is Juan, meaning dispersion. It's above wind, below water. Wind over water, obstacles gently dispersed. In spring, warm breezes blow across the frozen wet waters and awaken them to movement again. Winds blow over stagnant summer marshes, freshening and freeing them to encourage growth. In every season, the prevailing wind acts upon the waters to disperse inertia and coax them back into liveliness. When one wants to motivate others, subtle persuasion may be more effective. Fict, yeah. Subtle persuasion can be more effective than brutal force. Okay, next one you got is number forty-five. I might as well draw this too. And next card after that is number 30. Let me get 45. Okay, this one's Sui. Sui. It means gathering together above lake, below earth. The lake upon the earth, the vessel of community. Water running freely over the earth does not attain the depth of the lake with its constraints. In the same way, people are stronger when they are gathered together within the vessel of their community. A shared history adds depth to, to their connection, and they are unified through the honor of ancestors and, and traditions. Such a spiritual life cannot be easily dissolved. And the last one is 30. I hope these make some sense to you. Okay, 30 is Chin, meaning progress. Above fire, below earth. Fire over the earth, a leader arises. Sunrise brings the new day and progress can be made as the light increases. In the same way, an undertaking can profit from the emergence of a new leader who shines light in dark places. This may be a person whose influence endures as the sun reigns in perpetual per, perpetuity, or it may be as fleeting as a shooting star that flames across the sky and is gone, seize the opportunity to advance. Okay, I hope that might make some sense to you. Now for the dice reading. Okay. Now, that's the sun over, I believe that's Taurus. Yeah, the sun over Taurus. Taurus is an earth sign. Okay. The symbol is the fields at sunset. Work still has to be done, endings and choices. Rows of wheat, fully grown and wavering under a gentle sun that is sinking into the horizon. <clears throat> the sun here lends aid to the growing crops, ensuring that they flourish. It is not too hot and does not dominate the earth, but works with it to enrich and empower the growing days the grown things. Where the reading of lesser earth over earth only describes the group of, uh, as being ready, this reading is the sun's action to make the crops grow right. It signifies healthy, natural actions preceded as planned, but not yet finished. 
The sun is comfortable warm, but not blazing. This lower energy can lead to inertia or complacent behavior at a time of opportunity when you could really excel. But this is not always a bad trade-off. Rather than straining and potentially failing or falling from the height you gained, the gentle sun ensures steady success. However, the sun's lesser strength here is also a serious issue. Success did not come at success did not come. The task is not finished. This is a sign of endings and of time running out. The change will happen soon, and ignoring it's not a realistic option. You have a choice. You can go the way of the day and start fresh in a new direction, or fight to turn this lesser sun into a greater one. The sun is not only is not the only element that leads to success, and you do not have to keep stubbornly suggesting with the same issues that force it back up into the sky. Doing so is very earth-like behavior. Water would never oppose a problem in that way. If it wanted to allow it to sink as it wanted to and flow around the sides instead of wasting energy. But sometimes when the problem is to do with our homes or the people in them, we decide it is right to struggle. Time has already been invested and we could gain the desired outcome if we just keep going. If that is the case, then check the work already done in the past and looking ahead to the future. Make sure this goal is one of the ones you want to keep putting into effort to save. The energy of this reading is of the sun gently warming the earth. The power of it is not high, so the concentration security of earth prevails against the promised change that a greater sun could bring. That means there is still time, and the sun has not yet gone, and the peace event is peaceful, until a time of contemplation wisely before committing to the next step. Okay, I hope that made some sense for you. This reading is going to be for Thomas. Hmm. All right, Thomas. Um, now I'll tell you, Thomas, this reading really, really confuses me. Because um, they're saying contradictory things. Um, this is almost contradictory. It's uh, showing a, a bad time for... Um, to follow your instincts, your instincts are going to be off. Your into your intuition will be off. And then this one talks about moving to a more spiritual level, um, or to kind of head so much from materialistic to more of a spiritual life. I guess they're not too different in meaning, but really that they're, they're very. Very opposite cards. Now, another one that's contradictory. These two. You know, this is saying the world isn't going to really turn in your favor. And this says the opposite. The world's going to turn in your favor. Um... This says you've won a fight um, and it's upset you, but you're not really quite uh, over it. You're not going places yet with it. 
And this one says your con well, still I guess that's not quite different, but uh, it says you're going uh, carefully along. You're afraid of getting hurt, burnt again. Okay, so we have your priestess in a negative position, and you have your priest in a positive position. So it's kind of like a yin yang type thing. And, uh,. I'm saying from all this, basically, it looks like it's going to be either a roller coaster or just who knows what can happen here. Because <laughs> anything's possible. Uh, the world's not turning in your favor very much. Um, it's not quite going your way. And uh, you just need to stick it out until it improves. This is saying it's really not going anywhere it's not improving it's um kind of stuck i guess you could say in the past you're still kind of dwelling on these little petty fights uh bickering argument nothing too physical it's just annoying little you know blah 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 blah, blah type <laughs> squawking and carrying on like that nothing real serious and uh then suddenly the world's at your hands at your fingertips it's uh it's gonna go well everything's going well here in the near future but enjoy it because something is still haunting you maybe from over here something's haunting you and you just can't let go of certain things. You're afraid to... You move with caution. In uh, maybe not necessarily a f physical way, but uh, a figurative way. Uh, you use a lot of caution when uh, making your decisions, let's say. And it looks like that's going to continue on for a little while. I see bad news about the family or homestead you know the home anything to do with domestic life family home and uh this news it looks like it might be pretty extreme oh uh, i'll just tell you that um beware prepare yourself um Sense of justice is going to be really good. And, uh, it's a good time for a relationship, a partnership with somebody of some sort. Um, as I, uh, said before, it, it could be like a, a, a love interest, a friend, a family member, a business deal. Just anything involving you and another person is going to be going really well. Um, and also, you're going to turn from more, more of a spiritual outlook to uh, less so. Uh, less so. More of a, um, maybe a little bit more materialistic, say, than, than you were starting out. Um... Maybe someone's going to give you something, a great value. Something is kind of going to overshadow your your spiritual aspect. Just for a while. I'm sure it'll come back. All right, Thomas. I hope that told you something. Next up is one that uh, requested a tarot is Sherry Edwards. All right. Oh, boy. Another partnership card. Good, though. I'll tell you that. Oh, 
Well, before I get started, I can tell you one thing. This involves an, an emotional issue. Or you're going through a very emotional time right now, or you will shortly. Emotions really are strong in this reading. Um, like all of these three, this one and this one over here, all indicate uh, something really emotional for you. So let me get to reading. Good time for relationship between you and someone else. Romantic, friendship, uh, family member, um, a business deal. Anything one-on-one -on -one between you and someone else is going to be a really good time for that. And there's magic in the air and it looks like you're in control of things right now. So uh, if you can maintain that, you'll be good to go. Um, someone's given you something expensive here recently, or they've given you advice on money, or possibly loaned you money. The re recent past. Um, and it doesn't look like you know quite what to do with it. Um, you're dreaming about different things to do with it, but you haven't set your mind on anything yet. Okay? Uh, Money-wise, it looks like uh, things are tight for you. You don't have it to spend like uh, you'd like, or maybe had at one time. You don't have that right now. It's a rough period. And I see you with regrets about something from your past. Um, maybe you regret not having the money. Uh, I'm not really sure. Have patience. Coming up, it's going to be a good time to uh, control your temper. Not that you have one. But uh, maintain your, your, your presence, you know, calmly, rationally. Um, now, it doesn't look like it helps a lot, though, as far as everybody is concerned. Because uh, it looks like someone's going to break your heart. Uh, I'm not sure who... But someone's going to do something to really, uh, really upset you. Don't worry. It looks like you'll get over it. Something's good is going to happen. And the next thing you know, you'll be in charge of things. The world's going to be at your fingertips. Everything's going to be going great. And it looks like things are going to progress. Move along. Possible trip, but I doubt that. I think it means more of just a, a literative type thing. And instead of actually moving yourself, I think it's life that's going to be moving along. It, it's probably been, uh, well, I don't know, you were dreaming over here. So, um, maybe you finally, uh, act on it? I'm not sure. Hope that made some sense for you. All right. Just once standing upright, so let me take the pendulum and uh, see what else I can get. 
Okay, that's going to push me away. That one's not. We're all, uh, I guess they're meant to be red. At least that's what uh, the pendulum is telling me. Okay, first up. Okay, I see a period of uh, weak will. It's like a low energy, um, possible missed opportunities. Uh, Maybe illness. And I pray it's not uh, anything too serious. Um, but after this, after you get better to feeling better, so you go through a period of harmony, um, blessings, uh, joy, affection. Uh, really good time. Well, and let me see, um, now, uh, that has limits, though, and with all this good stuff does come some negative stuff, um, possible upheavals, uh, risks, um, delays, something along those lines, I guess with every good, there's a little, uh, bad. And finally, um, let's see, something inappropriate is going to be expected of you, perhaps. Um, this is saying you're headed in the wrong direction in the future. Um, maybe you're being uh, too possessive about something, perhaps, or someone. Uh, watch out for that, but... Uh, yeah, the ending looks a little rough there. Uh, I'm not really sure. I hope that answers questions. I'm just reading what it says. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. And next one's for Sherry. Okay, for Sherry, we have number 34. Number 24. And number 23. 34 to start out with. 34 is Ta Chuang, the power of the great. Above thunder, below heaven. Thunder in heaven, respecting the established order. The power of heaven is heard in the voice of the thunder, which proclaims its vastness. The populace is compelled to obey what cannot be changed at present. Thus are tyrants raised to power by the oppression of dis 
dissenting, dissenting voices, but those who rule with justice may engender obedience born of respect. Okay. Next one is Fu, meaning the turning point. Above earth, below thunder. Thunder within the earth, the old makes way for the new. <clears throat> thunder under the earth is an image of the awakening energy of spring. Winter is a time for rest, and when that time is complete, here comes a turning point. When one is attuned to the nature, the cycles of nature, that turning point becomes apparent. So it is within, it is the activities of humankind which have their own turning point when success becomes likely. And the last one. It's Po, splitting apart, above mountain, below earth. Earth pushes the mountain, splitting apart brings ruin. The earth is supportive, the mountain is stable and strong. The image of the earth pushing up against the mountains is like a split caused by earthquake. The stability is compromised such that the mountain may itself may fall. The situation is ruinous. The wise person will remain still and quiet until the danger passes. All right there. Hope that makes some sense to you. I just chose this deck because I've never used it before. So you are all were my guinea pigs on there. Now, next, next one. Okay, we have six. All right, we have cancer, which is water. And that one is, oh, I'm trying to read it. Oh, that one's Venus. So you have Venus over, which is Earth, Earth over water. Okay, let me look that up, Earth over water. The reservoir, a fortunate supply of help, nourishing roots, a friend who aids growth. Healthy soil over rocks with channels of water rising through it to nourish the plants at the surface. When greater earth provides a solid field of rock and fertile soil over the water beneath, the water becomes a hugely positive influence, feeding and healing the, the life on the surface. When your mundane concerns are currently slow and stable, then reach down to expect refreshing waters can be very enriching. There is a lot about this reading that point to enrichment. In fact, all the greater earth results can be seen as the subject of the situation, moving into being made more physical, linked to work or the home in a really sad way. From air, ideas become real reality. From water, it is feelings and emotions, friendship and healing that comes embodied in the physical world when it has been previously only in your heart. If this is about the workplace and earning money, if this situation is 
then oh, if this work, if this is about the workplace and earning money, then it comes from a project that you care about personally. If it is a situation in relationships or the home, then again it moves from being a base of good feeling into a more reliable and physical manifestation. The only danger here comes from Earth's heaviness. It can be boring, predictable, and reliable. This is all brilliant most of the time, but if you are hoping for more, water on the fabric or oh, water or the frantic speed of fire, it could be slower than you wish. If the greater earth goes to extremes, it could prevent the water from rising up to aid the green plants on the surface. This could lead to the crushing of dreams beneath the unyielding rock and practical concerns denying the need of the heart. To become slowly focused on efficiency or stay in work or life, instead allow the uh, opportunity of safe, nurturing emotions to come gently to the surface again, a solid and reliable background. The earth reassures us that our plans have good foundations and let the uh, sometimes unpredictable or messy water be cont contained and drawn up for positive, positive aspects. The water truly is a reservoir to be called on, but all round is dependable, safe ground, fertile of, capable of fertile, for, capable of fertile growth and a sheltering support. Look for opportunities to turn the things that you care about into something capable of supporting you. Look at the people around you who you can make more solid part of your life, but hold on to that emotion, connection, connection as well. All right. And I hope uh, you understand that one. So uh, that's all the, the readings I have for now. Congratulations to Mittens and Sherry Edwards for once again winning the full reading. Uh, hope you have a great time. Um, peace. And remember, believe. Bye-bye.